Hello everyone, a short video here looking at a cool bit of captured Russian kit. This is a BM-27 Eurogun with a full load of rockets. This was captured in Herson. Now, it is parked in a sort of warehouse, so it's likely the Eurogun's regular storage point between missions. So, I can't help but wonder if there was also a supply of ammo in the nearby warehouses too. It does make sense to store the Yorigan and the rockets separate in separate buildings in case we get a visit from Mr. Hymars. We do get a nice look at the Yorigan too as the cameraman shows off the capture. We can see the 16 loaded tubes so this was likely being prepped for a mission when the order came to pull back. The fact that a pretty valuable important Yorigan was just abandoned with no attempt to retrieve it shows us again how disorganised these withdrawals are, leaving perfectly good vehicles behind. It's also telling that no attempt looks to have been made to put it out of action, so the withdrawal must have been pretty hasty. It couldn't be too difficult to have put some delayed charges on it to deny it from being um, captured. So the Oregon is a 202mm MLRS system from the 1970s, it has an effective range of 35 kilometers and a max range of 70. As Russia's rocket systems go, it's a step up in comparison to the more common grad, a bit of a step behind the Smirch and the Iskander systems. Now, a week or so ago, I did a video on a captured, fully loaded TOS-1. Unlike the TOS-1, the Oregon is a system that Ukraine operates. They had around 70 units of these, meaning 1. They have supplies of rockets for it in storage, and 2. Know how to operate it. So ideally, these can be given a brush up in maintenance and then sent straight back to the battlefield. Unlike the TOS-1, where Ukraine wouldn't have ammunition for it in storage, and the soldiers haven't been trained in its use. I think it's unlikely we will see many of the captured TOS-1s pressed into Ukrainian service for those reasons. This of course isn't the first Yorigan lost. 29 are now confirmed, both destroyed and captured. This is up on Oryx as the fifth one captured. So Russia had at the start of the conflict 310 of these in service and 90 in reserve. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If so, if you could click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.